It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Valentina Shevchenko and Ronda Rousey. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a judo wrestler, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! And now we're producing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Valentina Bullet Shevchenko! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, this is a venue as long on MMA history as any in the world, the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Good to have you with us for a night of live UFC action. And she's doubling up on the jab there. Rousey gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. Oh, yeah, these nice are, what did you say there, about my Joe. mother punches? That shot blocked by Rousey. How clean is that jab by Shevchenko? Very nicely done. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Well, it's one thing to be confident in your chin. It's another thing to leave your head wide open for damage. And that's exactly what she did there as she eats the uppercut. Let's see if she circles out and tries to prevent any further damage here. Massive kick to the leg for her there, Joe. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh, double jab. Hard left hand. Nasty combination. Oh, big elbow. Oh. This could be it right here. She might try to finish this fight here. Oh, big oh. left hook there. Oh. Look at this. Take down. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. Transition to full guard. Lose it to half guard. Reversal here, nicely done. She moves into full mount. Well played for her there, Joe, as she escapes back up to her feet. Let's try to establish that jab. How about that shin? Oh, nice. Another shot. And she scores a single leg takedown. Sweet reversal. Into full guard, nice reversal. Well, she's up to her feet here, but she is hurting, Joe. Effective use of the jab there by Shevchenko. Huge right hand! This could be it! Big Fishy body shot! shot. Body. Oh, straight right! Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush! Nice combo! Oh, she tagged with a right hand there. Rousey going for the takedown, but unable to land. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So the horn sounds after that round. Might have even been a 10-8. Big round there from Rousey. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Let's take a look at that again. And 
here it is from another angle. Brittany Palmer. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Ronda Rousey has some of the best judo in all of mixed martial arts, some of the best armbar technique I've ever seen in my life. And on top of that, her overall mixed martial arts game gets better every day. Inside control. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Now she's in full guard. Shevchenko gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Oh, lands that punch. That shot blocked by Rousey. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Punches in bunches. Timing perfect. You better play better defense than that. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Well, Rousey's got the over-under here in the clinch, Joe. Going for an arm bar now. It looks like she's got that arm bar locked in tight. Oh, we're getting to finish here. She might have to tap here. There's more and more pressure and on her arm. That's a wrap, folks. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there and nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Rowdy! All right, so congratulations to the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Ronda Rousey, accomplishing tonight what a lot of people said she could. Her entire MMA arsenal on full display. The results certainly speak for themselves. Not a belt tonight, but a huge, huge win for the future Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey.